Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about the bull neck appearance. This is very important for your oral pathology as well as the oral medicine exams. Okay, this is very simple term. You just have to know what is this and where it is found. First, you need to know where this bull neck appearance is usually seen. This bull neck appearance is usually seen in diphtheria. Okay, first it is usually seen in diphtheria. Also seen in the Ludwig's angina. Okay. First you need to know where it is usually seen. That is the bull neck appearance. Now, what is this bull neck appearance? That is, it will be like the bull's neck. Okay, the neck of the bulls. It resembles like the bull's neck. Okay, it will be enlarged. It will be like the, resembles like the neck of the bull. That is why it is known as the bull neck appearance. This is because the involvement of the Okay, first you need to know it is because of involvement of the submandibular space. Involvement of submandibular space. Okay, this results in enlargement. Okay, there will be enlargement. In this picture you can see that is the neck part that is from your mouth till the neck. It is enlarged like this. So there will be enlargement. You just have to know some of the features of this appearance that is there will be an enlargement and because of this enlargement there will be a tenderness of the neck okay above the level of the hyoid bone there will be tenderness above the level of hyoid bone okay and the third point you need to know is there will be a pain in the neck okay because of this enlargement there will be a pain in the neck plus and also there will be pain in the floor of the mouth because you can see here the floor of the mouth is also involved so there will be a pain in the neck and the floor of the mouth and also there will be restricted mouth opening because of the so large okay so large inflammation or enlargement there will be restricted mouth movement that is difficulty in moving your mouth and also there will be a swelling in the mouth and the neck that is you can see here there will be a swelling in the mouth and the neck okay this is very simple that's it about bull neck appearance you need to know where it is usually seen it is seen in diphtheria and ludwig's angina and then it is due to the involvement of the submandibular space it results in enlargement of the mouth and the neck swelling then there will be tenderness of the neck above the level of the hyoid bone here will be the hyoid bone and the pain in the neck and the floor of the mouth because of this tenderness and there will be restricted mouth movement. Okay, that is about the bull neck appearance. Thank you for watching. Thank you.